Hey everyone, we are in the Lyman Hut community and I will be showcasing lot number two. Lot number two, you're looking at about four bedroom, three baths, 3,205 square foot home, three car garage with an RV space. And the best part is this community has no HOA guys, so stay tuned. Hey, what's going on everybody? Kamusta couple buyings. My name is Kuya Oscar, your go-to real estate agent here in the greater Phoenix area. If you're brand new to my channel, guys, I go around all the brand new construction communities and I showcase their model homes as well as their moving rating homes. If you are in the market to purchase a brand new construction home, definitely do me a favor, hit that like, subscribe and notification button and follow me on all of these home tours. And if you're planning to purchase, guys, I've helped numerous families already and I would love to be a part of your journey. So we are here in Queen Creek, okay? And in Queen Creek, we are going to be touring the community of Lyman Hunt by Next Star Homes. The best part about this community, guys, is that there is no HOA. No longer we have to ask permission on, oh, can I do this to my backyard? Can I paint this? Can I do that? No, there's no HOA, okay? So if this is something that you are very interested in, definitely keep on watching, okay? Stay tuned to the end of this video. We will talk about you know, what's around this community, okay? Uh, as far as parks, recreational, where's your nearest grocery store? You know, access to roads and also proximity to like the airport. So stay tuned to the end of this episode to get all that info, okay guys? With that being said, let's get this home tour started. Hey, what's going on everybody? Okay, so this is lot number two. Okay, really nice elevation here. It's like a farmhouse style elevation, okay? and there is hunt highway what i really love about this community too you have views of santan mountain look how beautiful that mountain is just right over that fence so i love how also the front yard already comes with a nice landscaping package usually on new construction homes you will just see a basic desert landscaping package and what i mean by that is just you'll just have the rocks okay and the, the butt br bushes okay i don't know why it was so hard for me to say that <laughs> and then but let's check this out you have this nice turf area guys so that is really awesome on the side of the house there you do have a you access door to the side we'll go take a look at that here in a minute but each lot here is about just um, about uh, 0.3 of an acre, okay? So it's over a quarter of an acre. So that's really nice. And where my car is, you'll see that there is, you know, uh, an access to the back, which where you could park your camper, you could park your RV garage. If you have other to uh, toys, like uh, your boat, your jet skis, you know, you could definitely park it back here, but look at how wide this space is. All right, if you, need, if you need it any wider, you know, you could probably kind of break down this section of the of the brick fence here and just kind of just extend the width here. So, you know, a lot of options here, guys, okay? So let's go take a look on the inside. It is really hot outside. Whew. I do it for you guys though, I love it. So lot number two, okay? Lot number two, really beautiful home. This again is 3,205 square feet, okay? And as soon as you enter, you have really tall ceilings, all right? So this looks like it's 14 feet here in the foyer area. And then you have 10 feet ceilings all throughout the house, okay? Right when you enter, as you know, it's a really spacious foyer area. Really love the tile that they chose here as well. Uh, it really gives it that wood-like tile feel, right? Neutral color throughout. You have a really nice light fixture there. And also your coat closet, built-in shelving, and also your cables are just right off of the main entrance. Okay, so that's where all your cables would be. All right, so really nice space here. So as you enter the foyer area, you have an access door that leads to, you know, it with some builders, they're called the team room, media room, 
you know, we'll get, check out that space here in a minute. Let's go ahead and go into the great room. Okay, here is the great room here where you could put your nice sectional and, you know, your giant big screen TV just right over there. But really nice space here. And it's just open to your beautiful kitchen. And then there's where you would have your eating space. Okay, so here is where you'd have like a nice 10 seater dining table. I don't know, that might be just too much. <laughs> um, and then you have beautiful stainless steel appliances. But I wanted to point out too, because you know, this is what's standard here is that if you take a look on the other side of the island, right this side, you see that you have extra storage here, right? So this is just really nice because it's already there. This is usually an upgrade on new construction homes, but I feel like this is definitely spaced just well put, you know? Um, you have nice quartz countertops with the nice veins there. You have wolf appliances. I love the the molding that they did, especially on this hood bin. I feel like the cook, this hood bin is pretty sweet, you know? It's not that typical filtration. It's like this heavy duty, you know, I cook a lot of steak type hood vents, you know? Okay, so here's the shelving. Just wanted to show you the depth of the shelving. All soft closing too. Look at that. Yeah. Soft, very nice, okay? Ah, uh, and if you notice, you, look, take a look at this refrigerator insert here. Okay, this is pretty massive, okay? So that is a great refrigerator that could stow a lot of your foods. All right, so love this kitchen. I'll give you another point of view from this kitchen too the main living area look at that so really great area here okay let's take a look at the pantry so here's the pantry a lot of shelving here so that's really nice you have an attic of access here and what's really nice too guys about next star homes i don't know if you can see it. let me see if i can zoom in so if you look at that insulation it's a spray foam insulation. Okay, so what does that mean? Why do I care about that, Oscar? Well, one, it makes your home more energy efficient. Okay, and two, as far as pests, pests, they, you know, they always get through the nooks and crannies, right? Even through insulation. Here, they cannot. It's definitely airtight. Now, I wanted to also point out, too, look at this space. Um, there's my little tripod there. But uh, this space, you could put another refrigerator even right because check out the depth right you could put a refrigerator here you could put more of your foods there if you wanted to but this is a really great size pantry so right off of the kitchen space on this side of the house you have three bedroom plus that media room we'll take a look at that and your laundry room okay laundry room i love this tile see how nice this tile is really beautiful tile okay you have your built-in shelving too they went with the same thing same theme as the kitchen with the quartz countertops your washer dryer connect and you have plenty of shelving here as well really good size laundry room guys okay so you, obviously you could even put more additional shelving on the top okay here is the other bedroom here really good size bedroom all pre-wired as well for a ceiling fan. And what's really nice about this floor plan, they have a Jack and Jill style and they have their own sinks, okay? All of these rooms has a walk-in closet too. Nice shelving system there, okay? But yeah, own sinks, guys. So that's really nice. All right, and then here is the toilet area and also the stand-up shower area. Right, so they could close this door. This person could use this area, you know, vice versa. Okay, so here is this bedroom sink. A lot of counter space there as well. Okay. 
And here's the other bedroom. Really good size bedroom here. Another walk-in closet, very similar to the other one. Okay. You have additional storage here. So that's really nice. Okay. Probably like a printer here or, you know, this could be like a little command center is what we would call it. Um, another full bathroom here. Really nice full bathroom. And here's the other bedroom. Okay, so off of this bedroom, you have this really nice space. This space right here, you know, you could call it what you want. You can call it a flex room, meeting room, teen room. You know, your kids just playground, indoor playground room, okay? But this is a really just a nice space to have, especially if you do have, you know, kids, you know, no matter what age that they are. You could put their play area. This could be their play area. You know, you can have all their toys in this room and it will be all scattered out, you know, all over the other place. You know, if you're a parent, with little ones, you know what I'm talking about. Okay, I have like a three-year-old and also a six-year-old and their toys are everywhere. So this room would be amazing. But check out this space here. Okay, this is a great hiding space for them as well. Or you could put a refrigerator in there if you want to. This could be like a snack bar area. You could put your popcorns here. You know, a nice movie night room, right? So boom, think of it. Projector right here. Okay, or the projector screen on this wall. You have some nice seating here. Okay, projector right here on this wall here. And you have this really awesome theater room. So that is really nice. And this is just right off of the main entrance, okay? So going into the primary bedroom area, okay? We have this nice den here. So if you work from home, this could be a great office for you or, you know, yoga room, meditation room. Throw in a squat rack in here if you want to. I'm just kidding. I'll just throw that in the garage, but that'd be pretty sweet, right? And then here's your primary bedroom. Look how big and spacious this primary bedroom is, right? Someone Biles could do a couple flips here. It's just like, look at that. Check out the scaling. Okay. Double vanity sinks, really nice. Comes with these nice large um, mirrors here. You have a nice stand up shower. Here's your linen closet here. And check out this soaking tub. It is already jetted. That is really awesome. I kind of want to test it, fill it up, and test it. I'm going to turn on the water real quick. And we're going to test that out. So here's the toilet area. And here is the primary closet. Really spacious primary closet. Love the shelving system that they have and all of these hangers, all these rods to hang your clothes. That is really nice. All right. Let's check out these jets. Here we go. Okay, boom, filled it up a little bit. The water is kind of cloudy. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What was that? Oh, yeah. Look at that. For wait a minute. Send a cup a little bit. Okay, those jets there. 
Oh, Elevan. Oh, Fancy White in there, too. And then you got that. Oh. Come home on again. So, a laxy day. Check that out, guys. That's a nice jet there. Really awesome. Turn that off. Really awesome, guys. Love this soaking tub. Okay, so let's go check out the outside. So what's really awesome too, is that this sliding door opens up all the way. Now it's not an in-pocket sliding door. If I could just get this sliding door, give me a second. We go. Not in pocket, but it is, you know, you can definitely make it go all the way to the left side and you have an extended patio area. So check this out. Really nice extended patio area. So this is really nice. Usually this is an upgrade on new construction homes. So this is a really, you know, long patio. Okay, so here's your backyard. Really long backyard. Just over this fence, you know, you do have like a private road there. It's like a dirt road that I believe just runs all the way to the other neighborhood road but in front of those houses that you see further behind that is honestly just some land so someone's just a huge lot there so a lot of things that you could do in this backyard guys okay so you could definitely put you know more turf you know pavers back here before you consider installing a pool you know, you would have to make sure that you don't hit no lines because there is a pump and the pump is on lot number one, but the pipes run, I believe it's running closer to this fence line. So just make sure before you consider, you know, digging anything that you make sure that you, you know, call whoever needs to be called out here so they can mark the lines. But you could do a lot of stuff back here, guys. Put like a half court if you wanted to. But let me show you where that, you know, the RV space, camper space, how big that is on this side. So here is the side of the house here. All right, so really big space. And so this is the backyard. really nice house okay guys so that was the home tour i hope you enjoyed it i am hosting an open house right now actually and i'm actually gonna go and close up all of these homes so walk with me so again this home here has no hoa okay so that's really nice so it doesn't have like a community park it doesn't have a and i forgot the key it doesn't have the community park it does not have you know, walking trails or anything like that. But there is Santan Mountain here, Santan Regional Mountain here, and you do have some hiking over there, okay? If you're looking for parks here, you have Veterans Oasis Park, just not too far from here. Queen Creek just opened up Frontier Park. Really nice splash pads, really nice treehouse style um, playground for the kids, swings gazebos that you could rent out for you know someone's birthday or just a half so that is a really nice park there in queen creek they also this community is also close to gilbert regional park okay so gilbert regional park again has really nice splash pads all right and another huge like a um, sports court area so if you love pickleball they also have volleyball you know another huge playground area for the kids as well that's Gilbert Regional Park, all right? And then you also have parks there in Chandler. So there is definitely a lot to do around this community, okay? As far as entertainment, you know, you have in Queen Creek, you do have Fat Cats, which is this indoor arcade, all right? You also, it is also a cinema, okay? And also bowling, so that's really awesome. 
You also have Peckin Lake, and I hope I'm saying that right. Peckin Lake is uh, this area where they have this outdoor obstacle course. They also are just near completion of the indoor playground. And also, if you want to do mini golf, they also have mini golf there too. And a nice garden, you can just like walk around. And one of the best barbecues is over there as well. Okay, guys. Um, if you like to do horse stuff, so if you like to watch some horses, they do have this equestrian kind of huge arena there for horses right next to Peck and Lake. So they're always hosting events there too. All right. And then you also have, again, Gilbert. You're next to Gilbert. You're next to Chandler. There's always events going on around there. So let's talk about, so like, where's your nearest grocery store? Your nearest grocery store here, well, if you get on Riggs, which, again, right in front of this community is Hunt Highway, okay? And then if you literally take the next street over, okay, that is Riggs. On Riggs, you have, you know, if you take a left or a right, if you go down to Queen Creek, you have Queen Creek Marketplace, okay? And Queen Creek Marketplace, you have Sprouts, you have your Trader Joe's, you have your Costco over there as well. You also have a lot of restaurants, okay? And then you also have your clothing stores there as well, like retail shops. So that's in Queen Creek Marketplace. Chandler, if you head over to Chandler, still same on Riggs. You have Albertsons, you also has a fries there. Okay, so you have grocery stores very nearby, guys. As far as proximity to, let's say the airport, okay? You're looking at about a 40 to a 40 minute, 45 minute drive to the Phoenix Sky Harbor International Airport, okay? And then also if you wanna to go to the Scottsdale area, you're looking at about 48 to a 50 minute drive to Scottsdale, okay? So with that being said, this community, um, all the lots, um, only three lots are still available. Lot number three, actually it was the it was the other video that I posted on this community is already pending. So lots number one, two, and four are still available. Lots number two and four are the bigger lots, and lot number one is the same size as lot number three, okay guys? So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna go ahead and close up shop and um, try not to melt on my way out of these houses. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, hit that like, subscribe, and notification button. If you have any other questions about this community or any community in general, feel free to reach out to me, guys. I would love to be um, your greatest resource here in the greater Phoenix area for new construction homes. I'll leave my contact information down below. With that being said, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.